everybody, Beyondrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a, another episode of the Planet Zoo Europe Pack Mini Zoo. Uh, so yeah, today we are going to go ahead and continue on, uh, kind of just outside of the main town there. So we're not doing much of the actual town work uh, today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, really uh, start to focus on the big uh, hillsides and forests and everything just outside town. And uh, yeah, we're going to really start to uh, pile in the animals basically. So uh, yeah, this was a really really fun build. Uh, to do the main focus of the build today, which I'm sure is in the thumbnail picture, um, is this big old bridge going across this uh, little valley. That's basically the big idea that I had. I think I maybe mentioned it in the last episode, but uh, yeah, I just, again, I had this picture in my head of this really old uh, like brick or stone bridge going across this really big field with like a little creek running through it and everything. and. Yeah, that's basically what we are starting with uh, here. And uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but me and Bridges, uh, they we just don't get along. <laughs> it's it's ever been it's been ever since uh, basically Planet Coaster days. I feel like, um, but just yeah, whatever the reason is, building a bridge um, in the Planet series games just always gives me uh, one heck of a headache. But yeah, no, I'm uh, overall I am pretty happy with uh, how it did come out and everything. I might go back and add in some more uh, little detail work here and there because there's just something about it that just I don't know you ever just do a build and you're like this is done I'm pretty sure it's done but it just doesn't feel fully done so I don't know if I got to add more foliage to it make it uh, look more worn down a little bit because this is kind of a older style uh, bridge there and everything but um yeah I don't know I might have to look at it just a little bit more so uh but yeah in, in this episode we're gonna be doing a bunch and I mean a bunch of uh terraforming as well so uh yeah this is gonna be the first iteration that you're seeing here so don't really get attached to uh much of what I'm doing here to be honest I probably could have cut all this out because uh, yeah it's going away but I still like to you know keep some of this uh, um even though it's not making it into the final uh, cut there, leave some of this uh, episode or some of this footage in there so you can uh, kind of see the process and everything. But uh, but yeah, no, here we go, starting on the actual bridge after doing a bunch of terraforming. And again, we're gonna be doing, that's kind of the name of the game. This entire episode is a bunch of terraforming and a bunch of future planning as well. I know it doesn't look like it now, but um, here in a little bit, when they uh, kind of redo a lot of this area, it's gonna be a huge uh, expansion plot. And uh, we're kind of set up for the next few episodes, actually, like probably three or four episodes uh, for expansion plots. Didn't really mean to do it, but it just kind of uh, uh, happened to go that way. So um, but yeah, here we go. I'm just kind of uh, probably right now looking at my second monitor, um, looking for a reference photo. And I did find this amazing uh, reference photo for, I just basically typed in, I think, old European bridge, or maybe a different variation of that or something like that. But overall, that's basically the variation that I typed in, old European bridge. Um, and yeah, I found this really colorful, uh, kind of orangish, pinkish, looking up uh, bridge on the old Pinterest there or Google Maps, one of the two. Uh, again, I'm always asked, you know, where do I get um, reference images and reference photos and stuff? Pinterest and Google Map or Google Images, just type in what you're looking for, whether it be, you know, zoo entrance or, uh, you know, old European bridge or, you know, whatever, just type in what you're looking for there. And then you can type in Pinterest after it or just go to uh, Google Images after you search and you will find a boatload um, of reference photos. Cause yeah, that's, I mean, a lot of the builders that you follow, you know, um, me and others basically, uh, that's what we do all the time. We just have uh, huge swaths of folders filled with uh, reference photo images and everything. I have an entire, you know, Planet Zoo Europe Pack Mini Zoo uh, folder, um, you know, in my computer and everything. I just have filled with um, different pictures and different ideas and all that kind of uh, fun stuff. So uh, yeah, definitely don't be afraid to uh, get the uh, reference photos there and everything. So um, but yeah, as we're going uh, forward with this bridge, uh, this is where I started to have a little bit of issues because I kind of free, I start to do a lot of free handing and that's, I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I really, really shouldn't have uh, started to do freehand work here because it kind of messes me up later on. But again, it kind of uh, works out. But yeah, making these little archways, these um, yeah, these arches. I was trying to do it at first with the um, the angle snap on, but um, yeah, it just didn't quite look right. So I was like, ah, you know, I can freehand it. It'll be okay. But yeah, here we go. As I'm uh, kind of moving forward, um, I realized, oh shoot, I shouldn't have freehanded this because now it's all <laughs> it's all kind of you know not exactly a perfect circle. But um, yeah, I don't know. When we start to uh, multiply this single piece around and make the whole bridge, it doesn't look too too bad. So um, I think uh, I, I don't know. Maybe the freehanded uh, little bits there kind of worked out uh, pretty well. So and that is um, how I'm building this 
this bridge. We're not building it in a one building type thing. I'm kind of uh, kind of building one section of it, and then we're gonna kind of blueprint it um, all around, uh, just kind of make it a little bit easier uh, there. But yeah, just again, overall, um, as we're building the bridge, uh, just know I hate building bridges. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't click with me. <laughs> it just doesn't click with me at all. And um, yeah, I'm glad that we got this big old bridge built, but I'm glad that it is done um, as well. So, um, but yeah, like I said, um, underneath this bridge, there's going to be several animals uh, kind of hanging out and it's going to be split into two different um, habitats overall. So the one that we're looking at today, which again, I'm sure the uh, title of the video gave it away and everything, but we're looking at the follow deer and the uh, European bison or the Wisent or is it Wisent? Um, but yeah, so that's the two that we put in. Uh, now, before you go looking, no, we do not have European bison uh, in game. They are a mod there. So I am using some animal mods because uh, uh, Nicholas Lion Rider and Leaf, I believe, those are the two. Uh, they made some amazing uh, European Eurasian uh, animal mods that we're using here. So again, the Wisent is one of them that we're going to go ahead and use. And then in this little um, water cove area where I was putting the waterfall and everything, we're also going to be putting the uh, Eurasian otter. So yeah, that is another one that we don't have officially in game. Uh, so shout out to the modders there for uh, bringing it in game and everything. So yeah, those are gonna be the few modded animals that we use over here of, uh, along with the follow deer. Now I'm not sure if the follow deer and European bison uh, really like go together as far as, excuse me, um, as far as like habitats, you know, I don't know if they're like around the same area. One could live in, you know, Poland, the other one could live in England for all I know. But um, but anyways, regardless, uh, I just thought they kind of look nice together, you know, and, and they do after a while you get, um, when we do finally get them put in uh, together in the big habitat, uh, they do look pretty, pretty nice there. So, um, but yeah, so today we are going to be, um, again, just focusing mainly on the bridge here. That is the bulk of um, the build. And then we're going to be focusing on the Wisent and uh, European, or the uh, Follow Deer uh, there. So those are the two big things that we're uh, focusing on. Then in the next episode, we'll go ahead and focus on the uh, Eurasian Otter. I do have their habitat already built, but it was kind of, uh, we we're pushing the episode up to about 40 minutes <laughs> uh, right now today it's about uh, 16 17 minutes I think or something like that uh, minus cinematics but yeah if we kept in the otter uh, footage it was pushing 40 minutes and I don't know about y'all but I can definitely uh, not talk for that long so we can definitely split that into multiple uh, episodes there so um, but yeah then there's also a um, another two expansion plots just across the little river that is in the middle of this uh, habitat there and I was kind of thinking it'd be fun to put some carnivores over over there so um yeah just oh uh, well, we haven't gotten to that part yet i just looked at the uh, footage yet but um, once we get there we'll, we're gonna get there soon to the other big terraforming part you'll see the plots of land kind of um reveal themselves but yeah there's two big plots of land one of them across from the river from the wasent and the follow deer and it's kind of set it up uh, set itself up really nicely where you kind of get this cool perspective that it looks like the um, the the follow deer and with scent habitat kind of melds itself into uh, the future carnivore, uh, excuse me, uh, the future carnivore uh, exhibit there or habitat. So it kind of worked out nicely to make it look like it's all in one habitat. But uh, yeah, we do need some suggestions for future animals, and I am using mods still for those. So uh, you know we can use. I think there was um, well we could do the links. We can do the Eurasian links, but I don't know if I want to give the Eurasian links a ginormous uh, plot of land to. Roll around him because it is it's a really really big plot um, probably suited for a bear more than anything yeah the Eurasian lynx again is a bit of a smaller cat right so um, we don't want it to have a huge huge habitat where you won't be able to see it ever but you know still big enough for it to uh, have a good um, habitat and everything so um, but yeah maybe we can do like a, a brown bear or something like that but yeah do recommend a carnivore uh, down below that we could go ahead and build across the way here so speaking of across the way um, a little bit of a jump there I did forget to hit uh, um, the old record button when I first uh, dug the hole out. But yeah, there was just, uh, I was kind of looking at the, uh, the the small hole <laughs> that I went ahead and did first um, for the bridge there. Um, and I was kind of like, yeah, I think the bridge needs to be more grandiose, more, you know, just bigger, have the bigger uh, support structures and everything. Cause it just didn't really have that, um, again, really grand uh, look to it that the reference photo had. So yeah, just went ahead and um, started digging a bigger hole for it. Basically we do that. And later on, I actually physically lift the bridge up and kind of have to redo the uh, path work and everything there. So yeah, again, there's a lot of, this is probably the most terraforming, excuse me, 
I've done in a build in a heck of a long time, probably since like uh, building the mountain in Pine Mountain Sanctuary, to be honest with you. And yeah, I took a lot of um, reference from Pine Mountain Sanctuary, the, all the terraforming work that uh, we've been doing over there and kind of uh, brought it over here. Cause yeah, again, I started to look at more reference photos of um, uh, like rural Germany, um, rural Poland and stuff like that. And just, um, yeah, I just started to really notice these big, rolling, beautiful uh, green hills, especially um, in the mountainscapes and everything like that, um, that are just completely filled with, uh, I guess you'd say like pine pine trees essentially. So um, as of right now, yeah, I start to build these um, big hills in the background there and they look a little weird with like the uh, neon grass that color that we have for the temperate map here. But uh, I'm gonna eventually fill that with, um, yeah, again, like the Douglas, not the Douglas fir, but the blue, the blue firs? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I fill them with uh, one type of tree for the most part. And it looks really, really good. It looks just like the reference photo. And I'm really, really happy with how um, it came out. Because yeah, we're going to be doing that a lot in the future there. Is uh, continuing these really... Uh, nice rolling hills uh, throughout the countryside maybe have some like uh, cliff faces and everything because yeah that's basically what my reference photos show just uh, different like mountains with rolling hills underneath of them so yeah we're going to kind of continue that um, throughout the build and everything so excuse me um <laughs> keep the more i talk the more that my nose gets stuffed up that's uh, one of the post covid things is that i the more i talk the more um i get uh, stuffed up there so um but uh, anyways in the last episode as we're kind of moving on here i kind of get uh, my adhd goes crazy here so i go a little bit building on the the otter habitat here for a little bit but we're not showing off the main otter habitat in this episode and then i eventually go back and build the was sent and follow, follow deer um episodes never or uh plots and everything so uh yeah it's a little bit all over the place so apologies if you like a one cohesive build but that's just not how i do oh and that is the extra plot right there it just made itself known right there across the river so uh but anyways as we're doing that um i thought it would be fun to kind of cover some bases because i had you all uh comment before about a new name for this series because as much as the youtube algorithm loves the name planet zoo europe pack mini zoo because it's just like ding 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 oh look at all those algorithm hits um yeah the um the name for it doesn't sound that good so uh, while I am going to keep the name the same in the title of uh, YouTube, because again, it does help out a lot for algorithm, uh, we will put an official name um, in the front of the zoo and everything. And yeah, again, thanks to everyone that um, commented last time, a bunch of different names um, for the zoo. But I did go ahead and pick from Max Quigley. Thank you so much, Max. Appreciate you commenting. Uh, he recommended to do, um, apologies if I mispronounce this wrong, Kiefer, Kiefernwald Zoo, which means Pine Forest Zoo. And I thought that was kind of um, kind of a good sounding name. It sounded good, you know, overall, and then it had a good meaning behind it because, yeah, we are building, you know, the town on the edge of the forest kind of thing um so yeah i think that fits in really really well so uh, big uh, big shout out to max there for the name um Kiefernwald Zoo. Uh, a close second, I should say, from uh, Nitri Nitrinus. I think I'd say that's your name is uh, Klein. Deer Twin as a name. Uh, it means small zoo in Dutch. I thought that also had a, a really cool name to it, uh, ring to it as well. But no, again, we're going to go with uh, Kiefernwald Zoo, which means Pine Forest Zoo in German, I believe. Uh, so yeah, big shout out to uh, Max there. And then also we had, um, we're had we having people comment down below for, to have a business named after them. Um, and the last time I had people say North Pole, and I went ahead and picked someone, and that's going to be Megan or Megan there, Megan Rebecca. Um, commented North Pole and I randomly um, selected their name from a hat basically a random name generator so congratulations there to Megan or Megan um, for that and you said that you'd like your business to be a pottery cafe or just a regular cafe we can definitely do that Megan uh, so I will um, put that in the notes and next episode we will take a look at the brand new pottery cafe I think it's a fun idea to put a pottery cafe in there so uh, congrats to Megan there for commenting um, and yeah if you would like to have a shop named after you in the next episode why don't you go ahead and comment down below um oh my gosh i've never prepared for this and i just kind of look around at my desk top secret <laughs> i just look around at my desk for random words so i have a i have a little box here that says top secret it was a gift from the uh, evil genius two people so yeah comment down below top secret if you'd like to have a um building or a shop named after you and speaking of shops we are going to continue the uh, shop builds in the next episode or two there so we will get back into some bavarian type builds very very soon if you're missing out on those don't worry they are coming back very 
very soon there. So um, awesome stuff. So hey, yeah, thanks again to everyone that commented to North Pole and gave a bunch of awesome suggestions for uh, new names for the zoo and everything. Don't forget to comment down below, top secret, and we'll go ahead and get you um, randomly picked, hopefully, to win a, uh, a shop name or a shop named after you and everything. So, uh, but yeah, there's only a few minutes left there of the speed build, so be sure to stick around till the end for the uh, cinematics and everything. Uh, also, uh, comment down below just overall helps out the uh, YouTube algorithm. Also, hit the like button, and if you're not already, be sure to hit the subscribe button because that also uh, helps me defeat the YouTube algorithm, get the videos kind of shown out a little bit more and uh, shown to more people. So, hey, awesome. Appreciate you all. As always, do enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And don't forget, we'll have another episode out uh, probably by this weekend uh, with the Eurasian otter and maybe another um, animal build in there. So, cool. Enjoy the rest of the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.